Joel, you're not a badass person. You're a sucky person. You're not worthy. You're freaking worthless. Joel, you would have enough if you ever were enough. Joel, you are not loving, kind, giving, authentic. You're an asshole. And those are just some of the things that went through my head this morning. You're just alone. You've been alone. Friends, I'm Joel Karlowski, the super brave teacher, the super brave gay, 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 gay teacher. YouTube is listening, Google is always listening, Google, Google, I know you're listening, and I'm gay! Okay. I'm not going to shame or guilt you into liking this channel. My butt is sticking to the mat. I'm not going to shame or guilt you into liking or sharing or anything this video, but I would love for you to click like, to subscribe to this channel, to share with friends and families and coworkers and anybody you know, because every time we do, it sends a message to YouTube and Google that people like me, gay people, LGBTQ+, teachers and students need more visibility, need more authentic voice, need more platforms. We need equality for all people. So I was gonna get out my funny glasses and do this whole teaching unit on the difference between shame and guilt, but it basically comes down to this. Guilt is a natural emotion you feel when you do something wrong, right? So I steal something, I get this guilty feeling because I know I shouldn't be stealing something, that's guilt. Shame is saying, I am now a robber. I am a stealer. I lie, I am a liar. That is shame. I cheat, I am a cheater. I do something bad, I am a bad person. I mess up, I am a up, right? That's the simple def definition and the sim simple difference in my head. When you think guilt, you think a natural response to something, to learn something. Shame, being a bad person, being an asshole, being all these things, knowing that or feeling that does nothing. Guilt, shame, guilt, shame. And for me, I couldn't differentiate the two with me being a gay man. It was thinking like, I, I can be guilty for doing things that are gay, I guess. So like being, I can, I can be a jerk, but being a jerk isn't adequated, whatever the word is, equal to being gay. I can be an asshole sometimes, and I'm using strong language here, but that has nothing to do with me being gay. And I used to think that anything wrong that I did was because I was gay. And even the good things that I did, the good things, the positive, enlifting, encouraging things that I do every day must be bad then, must be shameful because I am a gay person. I am not wearing funny glasses. I am trying my best not to be as funny as I can be or distracting because I think as LGBT folk, we need to realize that we have so much shame. And it is not the daily shame we see from our allies and accomplices who are straight. Their shame is authentic and real. Our shame comes from a deeper place that I'm just realizing every year more and more comes from family and society that says you being gay, you being lesbian, you being transgender, you being bisexual, you being asexual is bad. Just being you is bad and shameful. You are a shame. What a shame being you. It is triggering saying these things because I feel that in my core. And I realize that what a beautiful lesson to learn the difference between guilt and shame. And a, a lesson we all need to le learn as human beings. But as LGBTQ plus teachers and students and people and folk of the world, we need to hear again and again that you being you is awesome. There is no shame in you being you. You loving who you love is okay. And not only okay, it is us.
awesome, okay? You doing what you do authentically, who you are, is not only okay, it is amazing, it is brilliant, it is life-giving to do what you do. So keep doing what you do. Keep being who you are. There is no need, I'm like, Ugh. there is no need for shame in your life. Guilt, learning a lesson from when you do things, not how you wanna do it or how you shoulda, woulda, coulda done it. Yep, there's a lesson in that. If I'm BSing life, I need to learn from that, but I am not a BSer. I am not full of crap. I'm not full of crap, I feel like my mom. Don't say any bad words. Um, you are not that person. You are not shame. So I'm gonna say it again and again and again and again and again. And you know that I'm saying this because after I film these videos, I watch it again and again and again myself because I need to hear that. Because the moment I do anything, I, I jump right to the shame. I'm a master of going right to the shame. And I realize that not only do I do that, it has been pushed on me to say, Joel, you are a bad person. It's okay if you do this, but the moment you be a little more authentic, you are bad. I'm not. I'm not. I am covered in unconditional love every second of every day. I am covered in unconditional mercy and compassion every second of every day, and you are too. So just know that, not even because a super brave teacher says it, because it's you. It is you, and you are awesome. And I'm going to say it to myself, Joel, whew, you are not shame. Joel, when you're watching this video later, know you are awesome and you are enough just being you. Okay. Okay, Joel, distract, distract. Oh, these videos, oh, it's so beautiful and so hard. Thanks for being there with me. Keep reminding me that I'm enough to leave a comment below and tell me, Joel, you're not your shame. You're Joel, and that person is awesome. And when you do, I'll write you back right away and say you were awesome too. Thanks for liking this video. Thanks for sharing this video. What is your shame narrative? Leave it below. I want to know. I'm sure it's similar to mine. And if you are not LGBTQ plus folk like us, Find someone who is and just tell them that they're awesome. Tell them that they're enough. Tell them that shame is no longer needed in their life because it's not. And if you're, if you're in the trenches with me, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like this video, share this video. I don't even know what I said because I'm just so in it and I want to be in it. So thank you. You are appreciated and loved just for being you, Joel. You are appreciated and loved just for being you. You being you is enough. Bye, friends. Yeah.